Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. Welcome to part two of using a non-rex lens on reflex bullocks. Got another syringe here and some tubing. For practical effect, I can use this uh, tubing with this effect right here with this mechanism for about three to four different types of practical gore effects. My experimental horror film, SIJ which we'll start filming in the Philippines very soon in 2022 and beyond. So, again, once I've got this hooked up, it's a double tubing here, as you can see. And I can get two pumps, squirts of the red stuff out of this from either this syringe here or out of the big guy right here. This 250cc. You can obtain these types of tubings from medical supply stores and you probably know one of these and this is where you get it from. Alright, let's take a look at some other stuff. Okay, the lens I'm going to be using for this test shot coming up is a Jupiter 11 135 millimeter because I prefer Russian lenses due to the wonderful flare and bokeh and also such as the Jupiter 11 it comes with an M39 mount so how do I attach that to my C mount of my Bolex right here I have a couple of adapters an M39 ring adapter threaded that is attached to this M42 adapter to C mount and I just simply screw that right on there, just like so. When you use this type of lens setup, it's a non-reflex lens on a reflex Bolex. It does work. It needs to be the lens 135 millimeter and up, and usually 40 millimeters and down. However, different lenses will give you different viewable images okay so then I just attach this to my C-mount just like so right in the take position and we're gonna start filming some test shots of gore again okay so I do want to show you the setup right here simply pull this tape back Pull back this mannequin chest, and here's the tubing. I'll show you a closer look at it. Okay, so here's what I'm doing for this test shot on this chest of the mannequin right here. I've simply taped the tubing onto the back of the neck, going straight down right here, and I'll attach this to the syringe. Just like that, the 250cc. And for those of you who are interested about the connector that fits on the end right here to the syringe, this is it. This part to the syringe by my pencil eraser, this part to the tubing. Okay, from my table. To here, I'm at 7 feet 5 inches for the shot. Okay, with the Jupiter 11 lens, 135 millimeter, at 7 feet 5 inches for this shot, this is what the frame is going to look like. And for those of you who are familiar with this type of earlier Bullock's viewfinder, this is what I'm using as a director's finder in that shot look like I've got it set right here at 7 feet 5 inches for the Jupiter 11 135 millimeter. Once I do have my diopter set the way I want it, I can actually go ahead and start filming when I would be filming this scene actually and cut the viewfinder light off. Any light coming to the viewfinder by moving this knob straight over here just like that. Okay and what I've actually done 
Again, as I said in another video, I've worked the water that I tested with first all the way up through the tubing, all the way up to the tubing up top where the effect is going to be with the red stuff is actually going to flow out. Saves time before filming and the effect starts instantly. All right, let's go ahead and test it with water. We're looking right up here for the splatter. Yep, looking good. Before I send through my tube. All right, looking great. Now let's try it with the red stuff. All right, using a light blood solution, fake blood, take a look, right up here, yet again at the splatter. Looks good. Okay, you'll notice if I had some that I had a technical issue with some leak right here. This is why I always use a, prefer to use a prop and it's best. The minute you hire an actor and show up to do this stuff, they're being paid. This way, if you use a prop, these mannequin pieces, go ahead and apply the liquid latex, other materials, and I'll show that in a future video. And all the cost and time is on you. You can get all these technical difficulties worked out. And for those of you who wish to support my channel and get your hands on these M42 to C mount, adapters and M39 ring mount adapter. Here's the ring mount adapter. The M42 to C mount adapter for your C mount on your Bolex A16. And when you need a new rubber eye cup, economy eye cup, we've got those in stock as well. To get those and for questions, parts, contact me via the Bullock Repair Philippines FB page, the same email, Bullock Repair Philippines at gmail.com. Do click that bell down there and subscribe. And for extreme, gory experimental horror films, visit the Morbid Team Entertainment FB page. Until next time, see ya!